Hello folks, teammate here again. Um, Ronald Cruz and Anthony Vo here. Um, we're gonna uh, show you our course project, our reaction time game. So um, we decided to go a different route and do something a little bit different, I suppose. Um, and so this is how we came up with this idea. First, we're just gonna show you a quick refresh um, for how the, the game works and show you the code uh, to our best of our ability since it's not very well commented or at all. Um, and then we'll show you the game in action as well. Um, and then at the end, we'll also include the, uh, like a notepad with the code on it if you want to, uh, download it to your teller module and play it yourself. So let's, let's begin. So first off, just a quick reminder about the game flow and, and the rules of the game. Basically, this reaction game at its very basic just tests the player how how correctly and quickly you can press the, the correct button. Um, one of two LEDs will light up and you have to press the corresponding button. Um, if you choose the incorrect button, you get a, a game over screen as well as if you do not react fast enough, you will also get a game over screen. Um, after the game over screen, you'll be kicked back to the main menu. Um, the game consists of four different modes, which are just um, four different sequences uh, that we made into a race uh, that will display the, the lights according to what we wrote. Um, we weren't we were not able to make a uh, like a random number generator function, so we simply uh, wrote down um, four different arrays with different combinations to kind of test you guys. Um, if you happen to uh do all 20 correct presses in a row you will be rewarded with a small victory sequence just a little led flashing sequence that's different than the game over sequence as well finally get kicked back to the main menu where you can uh, try uh, another one of the, the different sequences um so the game will will use four buttons but not all at the same time um, essentially the top two, the OK button and the select game mode buttons are only available in, well, the main menu, right? Um, so you use the select game mode button to scroll through the four modes and then the OK button will, um, initiate, uh, the game. Once that occurs, you will immediately be met with, uh, one of two lights flashing, uh, at which point you have to press the correct button, either the left LED button or the right LED button. Um, if you press it correctly and while the LED is still on, um, you progress to the next flash. If you don't, again, you get the game over screen. Um, so that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and show you how uh, the code looks, shall we? All right, so here we have the code. Now I'll try uh, to explain what we both did to the best of my ability since uh, we did not comment this. Uh, you know, as you can see at all. Um, but it's kind of pretty straightforward. We divided the whole uh, game into several different functions and each function it's pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory, I suppose. Um, so we, we made a couple of uh, functions right here to help us uh, break the game down so we, so we could each uh, work on something different. Um, the choose game mode is the first function that we that we run. It's essentially the one where you uh, choose which sequence you want. Um, each of these four functions basically runs the sequences that we have here. Um, we have a, uh, a so I guess first we should show the, uh, the score point function. So basically uh, this function right here uh, will keep track of if you scored a point or not. Um, the game over screen will flash anytime you take too long to press the right button or you press the incorrect button. Um, if you happen to actually get all 20 button pressed correctly, you do get a, uh, a winning screen, a little flashing sequence. Um, and then we have uh, two delay functions um, and I'll explain why we have two of those later. Um, so here we have the, the four game modes. Uh, try not to memorize those. They kind of ruined the game, I guess. Uh, but Again, we couldn't come up with a random number generator, so we simply um, wrote four arrays, each with 20 different um, LED light-up sequences, I guess. Um, so here we have our main function. As you can see, it's pretty barren. 
Um, it simply has the, the choose game mode. So when you start the program, the choose game mode uh, function will, will be the first one to to uh, initiate, and we get we uh, jump over here. So what this does essentially is um, first it'll check for button presses. Um, obviously, if you're not pressing anything, nothing will happen. Um, if you do press the choose uh, game mode button, um, it will scroll uh, from right to left. If you uh, are in the leftmost slide, it'll simply jump back to the rightmost one. Um, if you instead press uh, press uh, the the OK button, then it'll jump to this switch case where, uh, depending on which LED you were currently on, um, it'll jump to that uh, start game uh, function. So, for example, if you are in the rightmost LED, it would begin the start game one or sequence one over here. Uh, sequence. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go down to the uh, the start game one uh, function. What this does is it will create a for loop. It'll run twenty times, um, which corresponds to the number of LEDs. Um, it begins by showing you the very first LED. It'll stay on for a little bit, a little bit of time. Then we it immediately jumps to this uh, delay with points function, and let's go ahead and jump to that and see what that does. So the delay with points is basically a just a normal delay loop, except that it also calls a score point function, which uh, goes over here. It's uh, the, all the the score point function does is it checks which button you pressed and which LED is currently on. So, for example, this one, um, if the LED, uh, if the leftmost LED is on, uh, and uh, the left button is on, then you get a word of the point, and then you get kicked back to the delay with points function, which then jumps back to the start game and shows the next sequence. Um, if the left LED is on, but you choose the um, the wrong button then you get the game over screen immediately so again let's go back to start game one so it'll do that uh, 20 times assuming you can uh, hit them in time um, there is a timer um, and it essentially decreases every time this runs so by the you know at the start you have about roughly probably about two and a half seconds choose the right button uh, towards the end you have well obviously much less than that um, one more thing to note is uh, right here in the delay with points function um, essentially every time you press the right button you get points um, if your points are equal to zero which means you didn't press the right button in time uh, you get kicked out to the game over screen immediately um, that's pretty much about it. So let's go ahead and uh, see it in action, shall we? All right. So just bear with us. Um, I do have to hold the uh, camera on my left hand and then play with the, the module with my right. Um, so this is the main menu screen. Again, the top left button will choose the game mode and the top right will initiate the game. After that, either the leftmost or rightmost LED will start blinking. Um, at that point, you have to press the right button uh, to continue the game. So let's go ahead and choose choose a game mode. We'll choose two, for example. This the the OK button will start the game, and the first LED should flash. So left, I press the left button. Um, I wait until the light flashes again. Left again. So the game again starts out pretty slow, but it uh, speeds up little by little. So here we have a right. Um, Again, each sequence is 20 different flashes, so there's four. So I'm gonna get the next one wrong just to show you all the game over screen. It flashes five times, and then you're back at the main menu. Um, let's try one, another one. So for example, oops, top right. So here we have the game. Um, have the left one. 
Now, oh, I got the wrong button again. So game over again. So now I want to attempt at showing you all the winning game screen after 20 correct presses. Um, you can skip around this part if you like. Um, it'll probably take me a couple of tries, so um, bear with me. All right, let's try it. So that's one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. As you can see, it's speeding up a little bit now. Eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right, 20, there we go. So there you have the little victory screen playing, followed by the, the game over screen, and then you can start again. So that's our project, uh, the the reaction reaction game. Um, again, we'll include uh, the Notepad file so y'all can uh, play with it if you if you'd like, or if you can find any bugs or any of that kind of stuff. Um, any input would be very welcome. We uh, we would appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that's our project. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and just lose one more time. Oh, there we go. Thank you all very much.